Hi, my name is Harry Schwanker, and I'm the president of Lakeshore Artists. And our art group uh, came together in 1973. Currently, we have about 35 members, and this show that we're currently running, which runs all the way through to the end of May, uh, includes uh, 69 uh, images. And this is our largest show we've had to date, and this is our 40th, 40th anniversary. We have many, many levels of talent from just beginners uh, to professional people that have been doing it for a long time. We cover many different kinds of medium, pencil, ink, watercolor, oil, acrylics, uh, 3D dimensional pieces, ceramic, tin, anything that you can find you can make something out of and you can call it art. But anybody is welcome to join us and we want members to join us and it's been around for a long time. We also meet on Wednesdays here at the Asheville Art Center where this gallery is and where this exhibit is being held. And our Wednesday's meeting is for people to get together and learn from each other. It's a social thing as well as learning to draw. And then afterwards, we all go to lunch at Wendy's. But we'd like you to come and join us. And it's a really, really interesting club. This is a, my, one of my first watercolors. And uh, it's a medium that I don't normally work with, but I wanted to learn how to control watercolors. And Tom Jones, the instructor, helped us through and I was just so pleased at the way things turned out for, for being among my first uh, of watercolor attempts. Uh, it's the first snow in the, in the winter time and um, I just thoroughly enjoyed it. I, you know you just never know what you're going to uh, what you are going to enjoy and it's the journey that you take that achieves the the, uh, the artwork that you end up with. And uh, I just, uh, I do what I love to do. I share what I know. And I just uh, hope that uh, somewhere along the line, people enjoy what I do do. How long did you paint? I started painting in 1986. I had no clue that I could do any of this. Really? Um, I, I, I took a basic uh, painting class and it piqued my interest enough that I became uh, a uh, avid fan and I started painting things at home and uh, I started taking things to the consignment shop because after a while you get overrun with things and the teacher or not the teacher the owner of the shop told me after about three months of my taking things in that uh, they were going to offer classes at the shop and I says great I says who's teaching and she says you are <laughs> and I thought oh my word I said I barely know what I you know what I'm doing she says you know enough and she says help people get started so I consider myself a techniques instructor I prefer to show people how to prep the surfaces that they want to paint on the right paint uh, or the right medium for that surface and the brushes that will help them achieve the look that they're trying to get. And, um, and then I just turn them loose, you know, and, and let their creativity take it wherever they can. The biggest thing is people are afraid to mess up anything. Mm -hmm. And they, they always want their work to look just exactly like your work. And that's not going to happen. You just take a picture of it if you want to do that. That's right. Uh, and I, I tell them, Everybody has a different touch. The pressure that they put on the brush um, is different with each person. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you're gonna have a different look no matter what. And uh, everybody sees things differently. Some people see things in pastels. Other people see them in really brilliant colors. And it's the individual artist that comes out in the, in the uh, end product. So are you still teaching? Yes. Are you still learning? Absolutely. Absolutely. I just, I did a stretch this last weekend and did two projects, oil projects. I don't normally work in oils. Mostly my mediums are acrylics and colored pencils and pen and ink. But I felt that I wanted to stretch. So I did two projects with a master decorative artist and was very pleased at the outcome. So it's, you know, you just, you never stop learning. You never stop learning. I, I told my kids, I said, when my, when my time comes, I better go out with a brush in my hand because that's the way, it, <laughs> that's the way it's been for the last 30 years. <laughs>
So what about somebody who says, I don't have any artistic talent? That's quite all right. We'll show you because they may not know how to draw a stick figure, but they might be able to shade paint or do something with clay or something with wood or some other medium. Is that about sculpture? How about photography? Uh, yes, uh, I'm a photographer. I do photography, commercial photographer. I do that. And so I would be able to give you some guidance in that area. But all of the people that are part of our group would be more than willing and very eager to help show them how to do things. So we want you to come. Don't be intimidated by what you see here. This is actually a flock of birds. Okay. They're imaginary birds. What my technique is to uh, draw in a sketchbook and um, I paint too, but I draw in some, whatever comes out of the pen. Now they've labeled this the longer, but my other picture, I have two more here. One is just one single bird and he doesn't run with the flock. So, and it's kind of like a portrait of myself because I don't consider myself an artist. I consider myself a student of art and I feel honored to just have three pieces hung here today, you know, very happy. And that, that's the way to feel. Yeah, I just, you know. So when, when you do start a piece of artwork, do you know what it's going to be when you're, when you're finished? Just about never. <laughs> just about never. But I am working on a mural in my neighbor's yard. She has about an 80 feet long, 80 yards long redwood fence. And she asked me to put a scene on it. So in that case, I did know what I wanted. I created a pond scene with swan and some mallard ducks and I also uh, I'm putting uh, uh, every bird species in Ohio on there. I'm going to put some uh, woodpeckers, some cardinals, all the species of birds on that. It's, it's massive. It's as, as long as this wall here. That's that. In that case I knew what I was going to draw because I drew it on paper first, you know. But most of the time I just set my pen to the work and just free free hand it. Just some people call it doodling. The most fun is just being uh, here with these people and sharing our, our work together. We learn from each other. That's kind of a common theme I hear. Is it? The numbers, yeah. Yes, we expose each other to different things. And if somebody doesn't know how to mat, we help them mat. If somebody doesn't know how much about watercolor, we try to help them with that. Some people have a very hard time just loosely drawing. For me, it's easy. I just loosely draw. Some people just have to. <laughs> I mean, no, I very seldom know what's going to come out of the pen, and I like it that way. It was a reclaimed mannequin that was pretty messed up, and, and so I took it, added Bondo, um, built the, the drawer assembly inside of here. So, and then um, it was inspired by Dolly, and put the drawers in it, uh, painted it, it's acrylic and spray paint, and yeah, so that's So what where did you come up with the idea for it? Salvador Dali. I mean, just his paintings, it, it, just to be, I, I wanted to be a little different in some aspects of what we're normally used to seeing, so. by his grace and there's a reason for that. I was taking classes with Bill Dalton, who's a, a well-known local artist in Conneaut, mm -hmm. and I was trying to see what he could teach me, you know, what things were outside of my comfort zone. And so I went for this falling stream. And to my amazement, it came out phenomenal. I mean, beyond anything I thought I could do, uh -huh. and that's why the title "By His Grace" because it was. So God how is this working. different? What do you normally do that this is different from? Uh, I do I do scenery stuff, but more like uh, lake scenes and trees and things. Um, I learned to draw over the past year. Nothing phenomenally good, but something. You never drew. I never could learn to draw. I took art classes in college. Could not learn to draw to save my life. But I learned to draw over since June. And now I'm doing little animal portraits. Hope someday to be able to raise some money for some charities, animal charities, down the line. But so that could be an inspiration for anyone else who doesn't think they have any artistic. Talent. I took art 
in high school. I oh. took, I won awards in college for my design work at Lakeland. And when I took a drawing class from somebody who was trained at uh, the Cleveland Institute of Art, he couldn't teach me to draw to save either one of our lives. So what happened in June? I met another fellow artist from here, Jeannie Altro. She's a very well-known equine mm -hmm. artist. And um, she said, I, Bill Dalton, my original teacher, sent me down to learn how to paint horses because I had an interest in painting horses. And he said, you need to go see Janie. And she said, you have to learn to draw them before you can paint them. And that's where it started. And then I just started, I got bored with the horses for a little bit. So I decided to do something else. And so I did a wolf. And I've done a golden retriever puppy and a kitten. And you know, I'm just, I've only been back to art for about a year and a half. I took about a 30 year hiatus from it. So I'm just developing my craft again. I painted this owl and <laughs> I used acrylic paints and I just honestly I just painted it for fun. I love the, the symbolism and the animals and you know like owls kind of represent like inner knowledge or inner wisdom. But yeah. So did you see an owl before that? Like I use references, like I look at a picture of an owl just so I get like the anatomical like figure right, but then I just go ahead and paint and whatever I want, you know, and just let my mind go free with it. So yeah. Is this different from what you normally do? Uh not really. I um I use I mostly work with watercolors, but um I did this one's acrylic, but I made it look like watercolors, like that washy effect in the drips and the, yeah. So, yeah. Since I was like two. <laughs> so I only had a baby. Yeah.